Okay, people, good morning. Um, what time is it? It's 5.03. 5.03. And we are in the car, 5.03 a.m. And as you can see, it's a little bit, there's a dawn. It's a dawn. And uh, we are on our way to London. Papa is driving me all the way down to London to help some um, friends. And um, we we'll see you there. I hope and we drag our little boy at the back and so as we know this is the second day yesterday Monday the Prime Minister announced that there should be a total what is it a total stay in you have to stay, home now. stay home that's the phase one of warning because I am sure in the next two days it will be totally locked down like what well, Italian. they've just done that. Look, yeah. look, I think that'll be the week's time. Yeah. The second phase, we won't be driving down the yeah, country. <laughs> I know. The second phase will that be. No one's gonna get in in any any you know place that you want to go. It's just that's it. Oh look, it's a bunny. Huh. If you can see that, that's a rabbit. Okay, I'll see you guys in the end on the other side. Right, here we are again. We're on the way home now from London. And driving it's five o'clock this should be solid traffic on this M1 and that's the, the only time I've been running along here with this sort of traffic is about 12 o'clock at night yeah, this, uh, yeah and that's the truth it's about 12 o'clock at night it's true but today is very good well it's just because all day by Ross right turn the camera around now we'll show you This is the traffic. Yeah. This should be solid. <laughs> I should be. There should be three lanes of solid traffic. Mm. I'm glad it's not, because it's very nice to drive like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. But there we go. So we're off back to home. Keep ourselves safe. Yeah. And that's it for this um, week. To particular journey. We're going to show you on the way home. Um, we show you a couple of other films about the um, bypass of the A14. Um, that's, some of that is actually open now. So when we get to that bit, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what it's like. Yeah. So until that. Is that the is that the bypass was the uh, new road? Yeah. Yeah, that's the new um, part of the A14 that comes from Cambridge um, up, up towards um, Huntingdon. Oh. Before the traffic was just stupid. I mean, okay. it, it was. Um, so they've opened that to alleviate the traffic. So we'll show you anyway when we get there. Do you think we can go through it? Or look of course we are. We're going right past it. Well, not, we're not, not today we're not going to go along it, but we will do. Just to say, because I've never been along it yet. Yeah. Well, so of course we will, yeah. In the future see. we'll do that. Yeah. Is that the project that cost uh, a lot of money? Oh yeah, I know, yeah. It's like 10 billion or something daft. Mm. What I'm going over now is the new bit of A14. Oh yeah. on it and that's about it <laughs> <laughs> so funny oh look at this uh, man-made lake man-made lake man -made lake that's true Waiting for Mama Shop after her work. 
next one will be the last one for this week. If we pass by the Morrison, we can have a lot of that nice pita bread. Yeah, they probably won't have any bread down here. There'll be no pita bread there. This time, <laughs> we'll have to be there at six o'clock, or whatever time they decide to open. And that's the fact. Yeah. Because otherwise, you, you saw it this morning, we had toilet roll, everything you could think of was in the supermarket. And you could get yeah. it. So we got yeah. a Judy toilet roll, we got a kitchen towel. Because in London, yeah. you can't get any at all. Ray, who lives in Norfolk, he says exactly the same thing. He keeps going there about one, two in the afternoon. I said, Ray, hey, nah, got me there at six o'clock, mate. Because it's one, two in the afternoon, everybody's brought it all the way. Okay, there's the fields. They're about to plow them. What's that? That is a tree stump. It's a tree stump. Oh, that was from <laughs> It's a tree stump. Fair enough. Excuse me, I'm going to have some. Um, so we're getting a takeaway then. Takeaway. <laughs> oh, this morning, uh, this guys, we we, man, we really really well. We didn't we didn't do it deliberately. We hit a deer. Yes, we did. And it's Where we might we see it. I think it's in this side. It's in here. Was it just along this bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's further up there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's Got full blood over the back wheel. Give it a hell of a wallop. I hope it killed it outright. I don't want it to suffer. I know. Oh, and by the way, guys, this morning um, when I went to shop for my boss, and I oh, oh no, not shop. I was walking the dogs. And you don't know what. This is this is my. It was my first time to to hear a slur, a slur or a a, a racist slur. It was so. What was so surprising was it's coming from a black person. That was so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it's what they call the popcorn of the kettle black. I <laughs> Sorry, know. pardon, but it was intended. I can't believe it, and so I I did not. Uh, I did not, uh, of course, I was really angry too, and I, I really, you know, but like, uh, those things came out my mouth, but I I prevented the uh, N-word to come out my mouth, though. But I said the F-word and stuff like that. The N-word's naughty person. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, neither is through your imagination. Yeah. No, some people are just the guy up the sky, they? Gosh, how can he think, you know what? He passed by us with the dogs. And he said, yeah, 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 like that kind of. But then he went around the corner and turned around and said, Chinese. What the heck? And I said, what did you just say? Supposing if I'm Chinese, so what? And I just said the F word. And then he just turned around because he's such a huge man. I said, do you... I said no you don't I don't want to I don't want you to slap my face because I don't want your hand on my face because you might be infected <laughs> because I might have the coronavirus anyway I did not say that but that is the reason why this person was saying this to me because of this coronavirus that apparently people, all people who looks like me are all Chinese and that is our fault <laughs> that this coronavirus happened. I know Chinese. I know. <laughs> you speak no Dutch I said, that's, that's, that is so ignorant of you guys. Please, don't think about it. This thing, no, it's no one's fault. It's getting dark and if you look at the trees, there's so many nests. Blackbirds or crows or crows, yeah, they're just they're cool. the nice, but just want to pull leaf on the trees first. Yeah. But it won't be long now. It's planting season. Oh, the, the grains are already in, isn't it? They well, are yeah, serious. no, obviously this is the, the harvest now. It's, this everything is growing for this year. Yeah. <coughs> They've already said in um, in our area where we live here. They normally have two and a half thousand migrant workers yeah. that come seasonally to, to um, pick the lettuces and everything. Yeah. There's none of them here. 
So now they're having to get, even if they have to make people do it, because if they don't, they'll have to get the army in to do it. Because if we don't have that crop, we will go shut, we will go hungry eventually. We have got to grow and we've got to harvest our own food. So there are no more workers? Nope. They're not here to do it. Can they bring they a lot of here, can they? Can they bring a lot of Filipinos? Unfortunately you can't get here right now, otherwise they could. Yeah. I wish so, yeah. They cannot be oh yeah, they cannot because of the coronavirus. Exactly, isn't it? yeah, they're not here. Oh yeah. So we really we need oh two and a half thousand agriculture workers. <laughs> From truck to drivers to pickers to planters. You name mm. it, they need it. Lorry drivers, the whole nine yards, and they're recruiting right this minute. Hmm. So can can you apply as a lorry driver, darling? Oh, not unless my my legs suddenly start working. No. <laughs> difficult to change gear. Can't they not get you a? Uh... He hasn't got a license. Sorry? Well, when you're talking. Well, it's a bit late, though, then, isn't it? <laughs> we need them now, <laughs> not in two years' time. Yeah. <laughs> if we have a virus now, we'd be better not have it in two years' time. <laughs> I know. Because if we don't have it now, we will definitely get it next year if it's still here. Well, yeah, it's not going to go away until they completely knock it on the head. Mm. And if they're talking about it, it might be like a flu, so it'll be seasonal. So everybody will get a coronavirus, bloody jab. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that. Far back Where are you? 